here's a family shot. We gotta get this one. This is Kevin's. Kevin Kevin's schoolmates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eight, that was in 86. So what are maybe your fondest memories of, with your grandchildren? Oh, wow. There are a lot of fun memories. <laughs> <laughs> the problem about memories is that sometimes when you have too many, you can't even yeah. put your finger on what to say about it. But... I do remember um, when uh, my son and uh, my daughter-in-law first bought in New Jersey uh, that we would come over here for the birth of the grandchildren, which was very exciting. And then we would come from time to time to babysit for, uh, for them babysit the grandchildren. That was a lot of fun. And, you know, just just the way the grandchildren behave and their their baby talk and their day-to-day -day development from crawling to walking. It was just just all fun. Yes. It was like it was like when you had children, but more fun because you don't have the responsibility anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can totally just enjoy it for what it is and not worry as much as you did mm -hmm. uh, when you had children. <laughs> so it was like a second chance at doing things right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, uh, uh, as years went on, what are some like scenarios that stand out with uh, Aunt Sanj and my dad, like causing a ruckus, getting in trouble, doing? Oh well, you know, I, I mean, I don't think uh, uh, at home. Neither of my kids were were on the whole, difficult. However, I must say my daughter was 10 times more difficult than my son. Because I don't think in the entire time that I, my son was growing up, I ever, um, delivered any corporal punishment or I even ever shouted at him because I think he responded and he understood something that has to do with I think power. He instinctively understood power and he respected it. And here's your father. This is this is simple. Was that his natural part? Yeah, in the this is he was less than a year and look at he was able to lift his head. <laughs> 